get rid of your phone, you automatically increase the amount of time you spend on your laptop. So I've done a few things to my laptop. One is I've set it to black and white, so it's just automatically less appealing. I've also cleaned up my dock. So down here, I now only have three basic things. I already had this, but I have set up the extensions on Google Chrome. Yeah, these guys. So I've Stay Focused, uBlock Origin and Unhook. I've also created a bunch of rules for myself. So I'm only gonna use my laptop for editing videos, backing up photos, reading newsletters and blogs, watching videos and posting newsletter videos. And to be honest with you, there'll probably be other things that I, that I use it for, but it was kind of useful to go through and just think like, what do I actually really want and intend to use my laptop for because I kind of currently just see it as like access to the whole world. I have no idea if this is going to be helpful for me at all, but I'm going to give it a go. I want to show you these actually. I have been a fan of field notes for jotting down daily thoughts, tasks, doodles, all sorts of things, but these are so expensive. I really like them. They're really cool. You're paying for the brand and I'm kind of overpaying for brands at this point. I just need the tools. So I went to the post office yesterday and I found these two two little A6 pocket boat notebooks. And I'm starting using this one to see how it goes. It basically feels the same as using a field notes notebook. Here is my laptop rules. My screen time is horrifying. Yep, that's true. I still use the Leutrum pocket notebooks for my commonplace notes. I take on videos, books that I read, podcasts I listen to, things like that. I don't know if I'll change these out. I go through these a lot less quickly than these daily notebooks. Maybe, maybe I'll just ask for them for birthdays and Christmases for the rest of time. <laughs> Poem of the One World by Mary Oliver This morning the beautiful white heron was floating along above the water. And then, into the sky of this the one world we all belong to, where everything sooner or later is a part of everything else, which thought made me feel for a little while quite beautiful myself. One thing I haven't figured out is where to get my news. So I'm no longer locked into the 24 hour news cycle, but I do want to keep up obviously with very important current events. And so I need to find platforms and places and people uh, that I want to read from. I'm wondering if any of you have any suggestions. I want to be able to do it either on blogs, newsletters, or podcasts. On the topic of consuming media, I'm, oh, whoops, still, reading a lot more books. Currently I'm reading Hood Feminism Notes from the Women White Feminists Forgot by Mickey Kendall. I um, have been taking notes in the margins of the bits that I want to go back once I've finished my first read through and make notes of in my commonplace book. <laughs> I just had my hour of daily internet scrolling and found some actually pretty cool websites that aggregate the top news for the day and then send it straight to your inbox. So I'll put those in the description box in case you're interested. I've not tried and tested them properly yet. I've just looked at them and thought they look quite interesting. I guess I can also tell you a little bit about scheduling internet time. It's an idea from Cal Newport. There's so much distraction that we end up trying to focus our attention away from distraction and onto the tasks that we need to do instead of focusing on what we need to focus on and then scheduling distraction. What I'm trying to do is schedule specific times during the day where I'm allowed to just go and doom scroll and do whatever I want on the internet but that time is for the internet and outside of that time is time for offline. It sounds really simple but it's it's really hard. <laughs> I've got two hours left on the clock before I have to log off my laptop for the day. So I've got to fit finishing my newsletter and finishing some of my illustrations for said newsletter up in that time. Mm -hmm.